About Jacksonville's beaches, the mayor's just held a news conference. You saw it live here on Channel 4. We've also just learned St. John's County plans to reopen its beaches starting tomorrow at 6 a.m. to noon, seven days a week. It is on the heels of the beaches mayors announcing the rules to reopen Duval County's beaches. This is a live look from our Jacksonville Beach Skycam. No one's out there right now, but in five hours, people will be allowed back there. Now, the beaches mayors just wrapped up a news conference where they reiterated the beaches are not open for partying and sunbathing. They will be open during certain hours for those who want to get some exercise or walk their dogs. You have to keep moving. So the mayors say how long the beaches remain open really is 100% dependent on how well beachgoers follow the rules. News for Jacks reporter Ashley Harding joins us now live from Jacksonville Beach. They were very specific, Ashley, about what people can and cannot do. All three mayors want to make it clear that they are prepared to roll these privileges back and then close the beaches again. If people do not follow the rules, they want to make it known that sunbathing will not be allowed. And you can see that sign there says beach is closed, but it is going to come up in about five hours. And while people will be welcome here on the beach, a number of things will not be. Here they are. Take a look. What will not be allowed are towels, coolers, blankets, and chairs. They are not allowed on the beach. And the mayors also said if you do come here to the beach, you must keep it moving, exercise, and then go home. Here's what you can do. Walking, biking, hiking, fishing, running, swimming, taking care of your pets, as well as surfing. Now, the mayors also warned that if you do, the, do these things, you do so at your own risk because there may not be a lifeguard presence. As always, you must stick to social distancing guidelines and stay at, le at least six feet away from the person next to you. Now, the beaches will be open from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. each morning and from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. each evening. They will remain closed during all other times periods. Now the mayors again say there is a method behind this. They believe it will help with crowd control and people must follow these rules. Here's what they told us. And it really depends on the cooperation of people and educating people on the risks that they take when they don't social distance. Parents tell your kids that. The point of having the two periods is to break up the time a little bit so that we don't see the large crowds here. We're still not set up for summer hours. Uh, and because we've got so many people working at home, uh, we're expecting the crowds are going to be pretty substantial. Once again, the beaches are officially reopening at 5 o'clock tonight with those limitations in place. My colleague Vic Michelucci will be doing live shots here starting at 4 and then at 5 and at 6 o'clock tonight. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station. Now, public parking will be limited in Jack's Beach. Visitors can only park west of 1st Street. All public parking lots and end zones continue to be closed. In Atlantic Beach, visitors will not be able to park at the two main accesses. No parking at 17th and 18th Streets as well. Just into the newsroom, officials in St. John's County are also partially reopening their beaches. This is a look from our Guy Harvey Sky Cam in St. Augustine. That announcement came into the newsroom about 20 minutes ago. Beaches will be open every day, but just in the morning hours from 6 a.m. until noon for physical activity. Those activities include walking, running, surfing, swimming, and biking. You can't sit on the sand. You can't stay around on the sand. You can't sun in the sand. Officials also caution lifeguards may not be on duty, so swimming or surfing should be done with caution. In Nassau County, officials are keeping their beaches closed for now. During a special meeting this morning, local leaders made it clear they were not pleased with Mayor Lenny Curry's decision to open Duval County beaches. County commissioners said they thought the beaches in our area would be reopened with a regional approach. Nassau County officials say they plan to revisit the issue in their county next week. 